If you're shooting 50%, 75% in practice with no defender on you, but are struggling to get your shot off a defender, here's why. It's okay to have a dip, but a lot of times what happens is a, a player is not getting into either a one motion shot or they have some sort of hitch, a negative motion. We're looking at how to get your shot off faster. So as soon as all 10 fingers touch leather, we're going right up into our shot. I was taught to step into the pass. Now that is okay, but for right now, we're just having our left foot as a right-handed shooter, a left foot planted on the ground as soon as hands touch leather. Notice the timing, catch. All right, the catch and the jam happens at the same time. Also, we're getting right up to our shot. So as soon as all 10 touch, we're right up to our shot. No wasted time. For right now, we're not gonna dip the basketball. Feet prep, hand prep at the same time. Let's take a look. What you don't want to do is pick up and have your foot lag behind, right? Your hands might be ready, but as soon as that defender is right in front of you, you still have to get your feet underneath you in order to shoot the basketball. Or vice versa. You don't wanna get your feet too soon. Then once you catch the basketball, your timing is gonna be up, right? We wanna be very efficient in our shooting motion, all right? So it's, it's important everything happens at the same time. All the transfer of energy happens at one time. So avoid those two mistakes. You wanna catch, and jam your foot simultaneously. We're gonna look at a drill that helps with your shooting motion. Many players have a two-piece shot and quite frankly, they could knock it down, but when a defender is on them, that two-piece shot is gonna slow them down. It's important to have one motion as we talked about in a previous shooting drill. As soon as hands touch leather, we ought to be right up into our shot. How do we do that? Feet prep, hand prep. Now, let's look at the shooting motion. Here's how we're gonna start this drill. We're gonna be in a statue of position. We're gonna go ahead and let go of the basketball. When we let go of the basketball, we're gonna get into a foot replacement. So that's essentially a hop. Both feet land at the same time, right? As that ball comes up, everything comes up at one time. So when the ball is coming up, we don't wanna stop the motion, right? It's one continuous motion on the way up. Let's take a look. Upon that release, foot replacement, one motion. All right. It's important we don't allow any hitches. If you have a hitch in your shot, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna be exposed, all right? As best you can, keep that ball out in front of you, right? No negative motions, oh, no shorties. So uh, we often tell our players, no shorties. So now it's time to adjust, all right? Great shooters don't miss two in a row. There we go, we got a little bit of back rim on that. All right, let's end on a swish. All right, everything up in one motion. Momentum is very important. Getting downhill in transition, getting by your defender, but also getting into your shot. We mentioned earlier why many players can shoot well in practice, but can't shoot against a defender, right? Many times it's because they have a slight hitch, right? They may have a two-piece shot. The more fluid your shot is, it doesn't matter if you have a defender or no defender, your shot's gonna be the same every time. If you ever notice players with a two-piece shot or a hitch, they have to adjust a little more now that they have a defender on them. We're gonna look at this drill for shooting momentum off this pound, right? We're not hopping, we're not getting into any kind of step in. Our feet are gonna be stationary until we jump into our shot. Off this pound, everything comes up at the same time. Now, this is gonna really challenge our upper body timing, right? Our feet are already loaded. This is for our upper body. We wanna move ball before body. Let's take a look. You notice that ball is coming up real fast. It's important to keep that pound. It's gonna feel uncomfortable at first if you've never done anything like this. So it's important 
we can really keep our hands prepped. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and back this out. We're going to high school three now. Ah, I kind of stopped the momentum of the ball. You could really feel, right, if you're slowing down that momentum. Ah. Alright, let's go out to League 3 this time. Ah, ball before body. There we go. This is a great drill just for getting your momentum right. If you want to shoot over taller defenders, longer defenders, more athletic defenders, you're going to have to get your shooting momentum right. Shooting from three-point land, you want to have a one-piece shot. For shooting in mid-range, topic for another day. So stay tuned for more mid-range topics. But as far as your catch and shoot, one motion shots. Let's get it. <laughs>